Cambodia is uh, uh, like uh, for now a hidden pearl, you ah, know, of okay. Asia. Uh, because Thailand, many people go to Thailand and now uh, they, um, they, they want to discover uh, something new and more authentic, you know, and Com Cambodia is exactly uh, that. Good afternoon, Alec Zongra. Good afternoon, too. Uh, I'm very happy to see you in Siem Reap uh, and then uh, you, you are the organizer of uh, Red, Red Amazon, Amazon uh, Sport and then you are now organizing and then uh, Red Amazon Sport uh, will start very soon in Siem Reap. Uh, so my very simple question to you uh, because maybe a uh, Cambodian audience uh, does not know well the uh, Red Amazon uh, Sport. So very simple question. Uh, so. Uh, what is the Red Amazon sport uh, and why you choose uh, Siem Reap to organize uh, this kind of sport? Um, the Red Amazon is a sport event for women only. Uh, I have created this event uh, in 2001, so it's a long time ago. And uh, the, the point is that uh, we change the country every year. But sometimes we come back in a country that uh, where we have already organized. Uh, in Cambodia, uh, I've been organizing Red Amazon already three times. So why? <laughs> uh, because I love Cambodia. So I always, you know, uh, uh, I am the one who choose the country where I organize my event. So Cambodia, it will be the first time. First time was in uh, 2014, 2017 and 2018. Then after there was COVID. And uh, now I'm really happy to uh, come back and uh, it will be a very special year for, for us because there will be usually the, there is only one edition a year. OK, this year, because it's Cambodia and I love Cambodia, there will be two editions. Yeah, this year, one in March in uh, uh, begin uh, March 15 for six days and the other one will be end of November. So you said that uh, uh Basically, you change from country to another country, but you choose uh, Cambodia for the fourth time already. So why Cambodia fourth time? And then, uh, uh, what what are other country, for example, you did already? Uh, uh, you have to know first that uh, Asia is the place of the world that uh, I prefer, and uh, this is also the feeling of uh, European people and French people, you know. Asia is uh, the destination, the favorite destination for uh, people who want to travel from France, you know. And uh, Cambodia is uh, uh, like, uh, for now, a hidden pearl, you ah, know, of okay. Asia. Uh, because Thailand, many people go to Thailand and now uh, they, um, they, they want to discover uh, something new and more authentic, you know, and Com Cambodia is exactly uh, that. So um, the other country, as I went before many times, uh, or several times, let's say, is uh, Mauritius Island. You know this uh, island, like Paradise Island. Uh, I went also in the first place in the world that we went at first for the first edition was French Guiana. Oh, okay. French Guiana is uh, close to Brazil. Okay. And it's a French territory. Okay. Uh, but you know, it's all about jungle. Okay. And big snakes and big spiders. Okay. And, uh, but you know, the, the girls were uh, enjoying also. And we went also several times in uh, Sri Lanka. Okay. Yeah, also. And uh, I think it's, uh, and that's all, uh, and Cambodia. Uh, okay, four times already, yeah. Uh, three, this will be four, and yeah. uh, end of the year, five. Okay, oh, end of the year, five. Oh, oh you, you will organize again. End of the year, uh, so, two times a year. So it means your activity is to promote Cambodian tourism also as well? Exactly, I've got a, I, in each country I go, I've got a partnership with the government, you know, and uh, usually it's the Ministry of, of Tourism and the Tourist Board. And um, my mission uh, is to promote uh, con uh, Cambodia in France and in Europe, you in know, general, yeah. in general, uh, just to uh, make people uh, the envy to, to come and visit. That's it. And, so we, and we have a very big impact on the uh, tourism industry after the edition yeah, yeah really yeah. you know um, i have uh, already uh, also organized this event in california 
uh, in uh, 2016 and uh, the Ministry of Tourism in California uh, they they paid for a, a professional uh, uh, an, uh, analysis you know oh, just okay. to know about the uh, the impact, the, the ROI, huh? the ROI, you know, no. the, the return on investment. Okay. Okay. And uh, the media coverage of Red Amazon uh, has been uh, evaluated at uh, 16 million US dollars. So it's huge. Yeah. That's the reason why uh, it's interesting for a country to uh, have uh, Red Amazon uh, because this event has a real big impact in France and in Europe. You know why? One of the reasons is because it's made for women only. Yeah, that, that is why I want to ask you why your group is only, uh, I mean, are only women. Why you choose only women to, to do that kind of sport? Why? Only women and they don't have to be athletes, you know, they don't, ha they don't have to be really good at sport. Because uh, Red Amazon is not a sport event, not only, you know, uh, it's a life experience. Because sport in the morning, just to discover about themselves, you know, uh, we're talking about women empowerment, okay? And in the afternoon, is discovering about a new country, a new people, new culture, new, new everything, you know, uh, sport, is a very good mean to discover about uh, about yourself and uh, traveling is the one of the best mean also to discover about the others you know and uh, that's the reason why as i told you asia is one of the is the part of the world that the european like to travel you mentioned that uh, they are all women they are all women come uh, coming from different country or maybe they are all French or women? Most of them are from France, but we have uh, other countries, of course. Where we've got from Belgium, Switzerland, England, uh, Australia, America, uh, Turkey, uh, Spanish, uh, and I think I forgot uh, two or three other countries. So how many they are, for example, for this, uh, this time? Percent, you mean? Yeah. Ah, how many? Yeah. Uh, they are about 280. Maximum uh, is 300, I don't want more. So 280 is okay for me, no more. So when they are here, they do that ac 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 activity, sport activity. So what what, what they are gonna do, for example? Tell ah, it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, what you have to know is that it's a big uh, logistic organization because I bring all the equipment with me. Uh, that means five big containers two containers with uh, 380 mountain bikes and two containers with a uh, canoe, uh, three seats uh, and one uh, container for all everything about the logistic. So about the sport event, they will run, they will cycle on mountain bike and they will uh, practicing uh, canoe okay. and, and uh, also archery. So they, they, will, they will do one. those activity for how many days how long do so six days one sport event a day always in early in the morning to avoid the hot temperature you know we are in, in march uh, and they come from europe and at this time it's still winter you know <laughs> so uh, early in the morning i uh, will we will try to uh, uh, to be right on time every start uh, will be at 6 a.m and uh, six days uh, and the day four is very special it's not about sport it's about we call that the treasure hunt treasure hunt yeah so Tre they they will hunt what as a treasure they will have to find answers to questions about cambodia about all the aspects of cambodia you don't want to tell me now sure not oh, okay <laughs> you no. <laughs> if you tell me, maybe your participant, your sport woman yeah, yeah, will you know, know the answer. It's not the game. Okay. So, uh, so you know, the questions are about history, about cu culture, culture, about tradition, about cooking, about uh, uh, typical sport like Queen Khmer. Uh, so before coming, they have to study about okay. Cambodia. Because during this special day, the treasure hunt day, uh, they don't. Uh, they they earn points, and points become time. Okay. And time comes less to the running time. Okay. 
So you can go slow, but if you are good with your mind and with the culture you have about the country, yeah. you can be uh, have a uh, uh, um, you, you can be better than the okay. uh, the the women who run fast. So it means they spend their time for six six days. Six days from very early in the morning. I think roughly they will get up every day at three thirty. Okay, <laughs> but um, they start. They really start at six or something. Yeah, yeah in but, the morning. Uh, yeah, but uh, when they get up, so they have to go to breakfast, uh, then after uh, to go to the bus, to go uh, to the start because we have two days. The start is uh, more than 50 kilometers from here. Okay, you know, Kampong Klang is far away from yeah, here. It's from for, uh, here, yeah. 54 kilometers. Okay. Uh, so uh, time. So uh, what, what what time they finish uh, at the, in the evening for example? Ah, they in, finish uh, late. Maybe? So th there is a race briefing uh, at uh, 7:30 p.m. Then after at eight it's dinner, and then after okay they choose if they want to have a drink, relax at, at the bar of the hotel they can. Okay. But uh, what what they have to do I think is uh, just. Uh, to go and to try okay. to sleep a few, few hours because, uh, you know, they have to get up really early in the middle of the night. So when the, the game start, uh, maybe uh, in, in one week or something, just uh, specifically? March, uh, first uh, sport event uh, day will be March 15. It will be through the Angkor temples. The, that, that one is the first day? Day one. Okay, so uh, you mentioned already just now you have uh, five co continent uh, a container of a logistic yeah. now your logistic have arrived already or not yeah yet? yeah yeah they are, they are over there on road six uh, in the at the hotel where we say we will stay during all the event and they already uh, arrived so it's uh, let's me it's uh, it's two three weeks they arrived already it seemed to me that your work is uh, very difficult, very hard to <laughs> organize or something uh, for yeah. you, to you. Yeah. It's hard or maybe uh, it's very easy, you know, it seems to no. be very hard. Uh, hard is not the word, it's difficult. Okay. But you know, uh, I, I really love what I do. So the difficulty, uh, I, I don't see the difficulty, you know. I enjoy what I do and if there are issues, uh, we always find a solution. Because, uh, as I told you, I've got a partnership with the government. All the authorities are involved in it. So everybody, many people can give a help. But we try to be on ourselves because, uh, as I told you, we have all the equipment. But sometimes we give a help. We, we need a help from the local people. And uh, the local people are in the same team as us, you know. Uh, same for the authorities, the Ministry of Tourism and many, the NOCC, uh, same. Everybody give a help to make it a success. Okay, thank you very much, uh, uh, Alexandra. <laughs> thank you so much, and then our team will follow you, your team on uh, 15 March uh, 2020, uh, yeah. 24. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for, for your time. Okay, thank you so much.